to the public portion, um, comment portion. But prior to opening this meeting up to the public for comment on tonight's resolutions, I'd like to ask Freeholder Sullivan to offer a few remarks. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, tonight we're set to vote on a contract to uh, for Sodexco to provide dietary and housekeeping services for the next 16 months uh, at Reynolds Hospital, effective September 1st. So that so that so based in Maryland is the leading provider of integrated food and facilities management services in the United States with over 413,000 employees in the country. They serve 10 million customers consumers in 6,000 locations. This has been a lengthy process that we began during our budget review earlier this year. And one of the areas the county manager identified for reform in his annual message. As we noted then, Reynolds Hospital continues to run at an at a unacceptable deficit. At the close of 2011, that deficit ballooned to $11.3 million. This measure will save a little more than $2 million over the contract period. Broken out, the contract will save $443,000 for the remainder of this year and approximately $1.6 million next year. First, it should be noted that the bargaining unit representing these employees took advantage of the opportunity to submit proposals to provide both dietary and housekeeping services. Unfortunately, both proposals did not come close to the savings that will be realized under the SEDEXO offer. The fiscal committee discussed the final proposal tonight. Nevertheless, as part of the contract we are set to vote on tonight, the county will require the vendors to give current Runnels employees in good standing the first right of refusal for any employment opportunities that arise. Current employees who are rehired by Sodexo can also realize the opportunity to approximately match the salary they were previously making. Staffing levels will remain approximately the same under Sodexo's contract overall for both dietary and housekeeping. Full-time employees hired by Sodexo will have also have a comprehensive benefits package that will include a 401k plan, health benefits, vision plans, short and long-term disability, dental, workers' comp, domestic partnership benefits, and counseling and educational benefits. More than 80 full-time positions will be impacted by the award of this contract. And we also extend our sympathies to those who will be laid off in this process. We will be providing rapid response seminars on August 27th and 28th at Ronald's Hospital at 9 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. in the multi-purpose room there. State Department of Labor staff will be on hand to speak to employees about unemployment benefits and how to file for unemployment, resume building and resources. Representatives from the county's pensions and health benefits office and county's deferred compensation provider will also be on hand. Finally, on another front, we are still in the process of seeking to privatize our laundry services at the hospital through public bidding. I hope to be reporting back to you soon on this matter as well. For adoption only, please kindly state your name and town of residence for the record and the resolution to which you are referring and adhere to the five minute time limit. Tina Renner Cranford, Ordinance uh, 612. You're outsourcing some um, jobs at Runnels. I want people at home to know that you have not done away with even one patronage job at Runnels. Not one job. There's about a million dollars in salaries that are questionable there and that that's not on the chopping block at all. You're keeping um, the former deputy county manager's sister is in charge of the three departments that are being affected by these layoffs and this takeover of the company. If someone can explain what her new job responsibility is going to be now, will she, won't be, will she be supervising the company that you're hiring to take over and uh, what exactly how, how does that how does her uh, job description change she's making over a hundred thousand dollars so I'd like an explanation for that four people who supervise maybe ten people are keeping their jobs um, the director of maintenance his assistant director and a trade supervisor they're all politically connected uh, they make just a hair under a quarter million dollars in salaries just for those three people. The former county manager's uh, mother-in-law isn't losing her job. She's a foundation director at Runnels. She makes over $51,000 a year. And uh, that's a nonprofit. It's a separate nonprofit, and we're paying her salary. 
So uh, someone would like to explain her job description, how that's relevant here, how you can lay off these people and keep this person on and these all these other people on. I, I would appreciate an explanation. You're also not doing away with anyone in the marketing department at Runnels. About $200,000 in salaries there. That's in addition to public information and your outside uh, consulting firms that you hire for these things. So. I'm talking easy million dollars here that uh, someone should really answer to. Madam Chair, um, the Director of Ancillary Services, in addition to responsibility of housekeeping and laundry, is responsible for transportation operation of the hospital, as well as all the medical equipment repairs that are being done in the hospital. So her responsibilities are much greater than the two that were described. There's nothing in addition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Tina Cranford, uh, getting back to Runnels, you gave me a uh, slight answer to my question, but just kind of left more confusion. My question was, is uh, the person that's overseeing, that was charged with overseeing 80 full-time employees who are now being laid off and replaced by outsourcing, uh, so what, what is her new job description? And I think the answer is she doesn't have a new one. She's just going to uh, be doing that less. And she, you, you explained that she is in charge of transportation and overseeing medical equipment. But this is, again, in addition to your director of maintenance, your assistant director of maintenance, and a trade supervisor. So um, again, there's a million dollars of funky uh, salaries at Runnels, and I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to spend all my time talking about that. It's, uh, you, and you didn't explain anything else about it, the mother-in-law of the former county manager, why you're paying someone almost $52,000 a year to run a nonprofit at Runnels while you're laying off 80 employees. Really, I, I think you owe the public an explanation. 